welcome to another minute of Mama's Mickey's Moments. Here's a snippet of my life as a child in Newark, New Jersey. My parents moved to Newark when my brother was about born, just born, and I was about five. And we lived in a very nice, I remember the first apartment was very nice. It had a little picket fence actually. And it had some grass. I remember moving to Bergen Street in Newark. In between Springfield and Avon Avenue. If you know the neighborhood, you know what I'm talking about. It wasn't bad then. Um, in those days, we had no car. Of course, we had a car. And let me tell you, when you came home from school, you were obligated to help. So, the most I remember up is when my baby sister was born. My baby sister, Frances. Those are the days I really remember. Sonny and I had no money for a gift for her. Sonny's my brother. He's five years younger, I think, than me. In those days, you could sell bottles back to the grocery store and get money. So Sonny and I stole a cart from the grocery store, and we went ahead and walked around the neighborhood and picked up as many bottles as we could. We went to the grocery store and got about, who knows, a couple of dollars. That was all nickel bottles. And we went to this fancy baby store on Springfield Avenue. And we put all these coins on the table and said we needed a get home gift for my baby sister. The lady was very sweet, I remember that. She showed us some stuff. I'm sure we didn't have all the money. And she counted the money and said, that's exactly what you need. And she had, she even gift wrapped it. I remember that. And we went ahead. That was our big gift. That's one moment that I remember so vividly. Other moments we did stupid things. Um, I always had to go to the grocery store, always, to the vegetable store and the meat store. In those days you bought your vegetables from the vegetables outside the store. Oh, you bought your meat Daddy. from the butcher. And I remember we didn't have a lot of money. And the butcher told me and would say, here Mickey, here's the bones. And my mother made a wonderful soup from it. How my mother cooked with practically nothing is beyond me. Anyway, me and my brother sort of hung out all the time. Like we really did some stuff. I remember going into an abandoned building with him after mass on Sunday. I was supposed to bring him straight home. Instead, we explored a chemical plant. And boy, did we get in trouble. Someone came in, we had a dash out, run like crazy. And guess who got chemicals on their coat? Sonny. I don't know if I did, but he got it. And he didn't turn me in. He said, well, I fell. Okay, so that was good. All right, now the next big thing, there's a lot of stories, but what story should I tell now? Till next time. Anyway, um, we used to, uh, another thing I remember. It's too long. Oh. Till next time. Till next time. <laughs>